I've made over 600 million in GTA all legitimately and I always get asked, Mark, how did you make so much money? Well today I'm going to show you an incredibly easy method which enables you to earn over $2 million every day and the best part is that it's pretty much AFK and can be done completely solo. All I ask is that if you find this guide useful then please do leave a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. So let's get right into this. There's a few businesses that you'll need for this method. Firstly, you'll need the gun running bunker. Buy this first and fully upgrade it. Next, you should buy the nightclub and then fully upgrade that. And then you'll also want to own the following MC businesses, coke, meth, and counterfeit cash. You can start the method only using the businesses that you own and then reinvest the profits that you earn until you eventually have all of them fully upgraded. If you don't have enough to buy any of these, then leave a like. And if this video gets 1000 likes, then I'll make a video on how to make money when you're broke. To set up the method, start by heading over to your nightclub. Make sure that you've got all of the upgrades purchased and then head over to your warehouse management tab to make sure that you've got all five technicians purchased. Assign your technicians to cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research and cash creation. The way I like to remember it is it's the top row and the left column. Each of these goods types are unlocked by owning a different business, which are cargo, the bunker, coke, meth, and counterfeit cash respectively. If you don't own one of these businesses, then it's the corresponding goods type that will be locked, so you can either choose another goods type or just wait and save up. That's all you have to do for the nightclub. Now your technicians will source you goods whilst you do whatever you want or go AFK. Then at the end of the day, we'll be able to sell these goods for 100% profit as we're not paying to source the goods. It's worth noting that for this money making method, you don't actually have to have anything in your MC businesses. You just have to do the initial setup mission and then use them to acquire nightclub goods. Moving on to the gun running bunker, once again make sure you've got all of the upgrades purchased. Then navigate to the manage staff tab and assign all of your staff to manufacturing. This means that you're not wasting supplies on research and all of it is going into making stock. And that's the setup done. Now you're ready to start grinding out this method. Head over to the resupply section of the bunkers PC and buy some supplies for $75,000. Make sure you buy supplies and don't steal supplies as stealing supplies is a big waste of time and you'd actually be better off buying supplies and doing VIP missions to make back the money rather than just outright stealing the supplies. And now you can just go AFK or do something else in game whilst your supplies are being converted into stock. I'll touch on the best ways to go AFK a little later on in the video. After two and a half hours of being AFK, all of your bunker supplies will have turned into bunker stock. This will fill up one fifth of your total capacity, so you'll have to buy supplies again every two and a half hours. It takes a total of five resupplies to fill your bunker, so you can easily do all five of these in one day, as it can be done in 12.5 hours, and after that, you're ready to sell. Now, I personally do this method completely solo, and I'll show you how to do it solo right now. But if you do have a friend who wants to help, then it can make the bunker cell mission a little bit easier and give you more options in what cell mission you choose. But as I said, it is completely doable solo and that's how I personally do it. I like to start by selling my bunker stock. Before you sell your stock, set your spawn location to your bunker. You'll see why later on. Then go to the PC and buy another round of supplies so that you'll start making more stock as soon as you've done the sell mission. Then head over to sell stock and click on sell to Los Santos as that will make you the most money. Now if you're trying to do this solo then I found that there's only two sell missions that I can do solo every single time. The first one is where two phantom wedges spawn in. You just drive one of them to a certain location, once you deliver it, call in something like an oppressor or a buzzard or a sparrow and then fly back to your bunker so that you can deliver the second phantom wedge to the exact same location. This is easily doable in under 15 minutes. The second mission is one of two possible missions with the insurgent pickups. If you see the insurgent pickups, make sure it has the three dots in the bottom right corner rather than the zero out of 15 in the bottom right corner. You'll just have to drive each insurgent to a different location in Los Santos and assuming you're not crashing every 30 seconds, then this should be very doable in the 15 minutes given. If you don't get any of these missions, then you probably won't be able to do it solo. So I would just find a new session and try again. That's why we set our spawn location to the bunker before selling. You'll lose a really small amount of stock, but you'll get a chance at doing a mission that you can actually complete solo. The missions that you'll want to avoid are the insurgent pickup mission that says 0 out of 15 in the bottom right corner. As for this, you'll have to take each insurgent to a certain location, and then you have to take them all to another location, and you have to keep doing that a total of 5 times, which just isn't doable solo in the time given. 
The marshals also require 15 deliveries, which just isn't doable solo, and the dune buggies require 20 deliveries, which is even worse. If you're feeling brave, and to be honest I would recommend this, then sell your goods in a full lobby. You'll get a 1% bonus for every other player in the same session, and this can really add up. In a full lobby, you'll get an extra $300,000. I tend to do the sell mission in whatever lobby I'm in, and if somebody tries to grief me and I think they're going to destroy my goods, then I'll just switch sessions. Once you've finished with your bunker, head over to your nightclub to do the sell mission for that. A quick tip is to enter from the back of your nightclub as it's actually quicker. Then on your PC just head over to sell goods and click on sell all goods. The vehicle you get for the mission varies depending on how many goods you're selling. Up to 90 items will get you the speedo custom, 90 to 180 items will get you the mule custom, and anything above 180 items will get you the pounder custom. With this method I tend to get the mule custom and sometimes the speedo custom. I really rarely get the pounder custom unless I've been afk for a really long time without selling. As you start making more money from this money making method, then it's probably worth reinvesting some profits into upgrading these vehicles, prioritizing the mule and then the speedo. I would first focus on the speed upgrades as these vehicles are painfully slow, especially the mule. And then focus on armor upgrades just in case some griefers want to have a go at you. The mission itself is normally very simple and can always be done solo. Just note that at the end, Tony will take a 10% Lord Ring cut from your sale of up to $100,000. So let's crunch some numbers and see just how much you can make with this method. The bunker stock sells for $1,050,000 in a solo lobby and $1,354,500 in a full lobby. For 5 rounds of supplies, the total cost was $375,000, leaving you with a profit of $675,000 to $979,500 from the bunker, depending on how many people were in the lobby when you did the sale mission. The nightclub goods are a bit harder to give an exact number because the total value varies the longer you leave it. I left mine AFK for exactly 24 hours and the total goods value was $890,000, mostly because some of the supplies reached max capacity. After Tony's 89,000 laundering cut, this left me with $801,000 for my nightclub goods. So if you do this method once every 24 hours, you can expect to make a total of $1,476,000 to $1,780,500. If you do this consistently, then in no time you'll see your balance go up and up and up and you'll never have to worry about being broke again in GTA Online. My favourite part about this money making method is the fact that you can do it all pretty much AFK. This used to be really easy and convenient as you were able to go AFK on the security cameras and TVs, but in the Los Santos Tuners update, Rockstar changed this and you can no longer go AFK here. However, it is still possible to go AFK in GTA Online. I recently made a video about how to go AFK in the LS Kami and earn loads of AFK rep. Well, you can use this method whilst you're waiting for your bunker supplies to be converted into stock. I'll leave a link to that video in the description and in a card somewhere on screen. The only downside is traveling from your bunker to the LS car meet, but the way I get around this is just setting my spawn location to the place I want to go and switching sessions. There's a few more tips that I want to give you for this method, so that you can make the most money the most efficiently. Firstly, when going AFK, I like to register as a CEO, as this means my biker businesses won't have a chance of being raided. I also think this stops you from having to pay the daily utility charges on your MC businesses, so that's another good reason to make sure you register as a CEO whenever you can. My next tip is to do your bunker resupplies from your arcade if you have one. I have an arcade filled with arcade games, so every time I resupply my bunker, I can pick up $15,000 from the arcade safe. And if I've been AFK for a long time, sometimes I'll go to my arcade safe to find a safe filled with $50,000. So if you don't already have an arcade with a lot of arcade games, it could be worth investing into one if you plan to be doing this method a lot. The next thing worth investing in is a good mode of transport if you don't already have one. The Oppressor Mark II is my personal favourite, but a Buzzard or Sparrow will also work really well. These will help you in your bunker sell missions to get back to your bunker quickly so that you can sell all of the vehicles you need in the time given. And they'll generally be helpful for getting around the map whenever you need to. Another thing which might be worth investing in later on is upgrading to a bunker that's close to the city, as then you don't have to drive as far when you're doing sell missions, making them easier to complete in the time limit. It also just makes things easier to get to when you want to head over to your bunker for any reason. The last tip is one that I personally don't do, but I know a lot of people do to make some extra money. You can do the biker businesses whilst doing this method and let those supplies accrue whilst you're AFK. 
but in my opinion, these aren't worth it, because you have to do a lot more cell missions to get the same amount of money, so I just think they're a bit of a waste of time. I also find the raids really annoying, but you can't get raided if you don't have any stock in them. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you appreciate the time and effort it took me to make this guide, then I would really appreciate a like on the video as it really helps YouTube to recommend my videos to more people. This video took me well over a week, so I really would appreciate a like. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to everyone. I promise you that if you just do this method regularly, you'll never be broke again. This does work a lot better on consoles, as it's easy to just leave them on, whereas on PC you can't really go AFK, but if you wanted to then technically you could still do this on PC. Anyway, that's all from me, I really do hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.